Good morning, hello and welcome back to my channel. Oh, I think there might be something on my camera. I'm really excited today. We were actually meant to film this last week, but why did we not end up going shopping last weekend? Something happened, can't remember what happened. We're just heading past the Savoy. Gosh, I love that hotel. Matt and I are doing a little shopping trip today, starting with one of my favorite activities ever. You can probably guess, because I'm dressed for it. I don't think Matt's going to be partaking. Are you? Get the is this like your um, ferry problem? You know how you're scared of getting boats? Is that why you have no, a fear of ice skating? Just ice skating, it just takes me about 30 minutes to get off the side, so I just can't really <laughs> be bothered going through that process. I was talking to someone the other day, I was saying it's a bit of an ick when a guy can't ice skate. <laughs> but you could never, you could I, never ick me out. I can't ice skate, she's not too. No, Matt can't ice skate. I'm, I mean, I'm not the best. If I had a lot of practice, I'd be really good. Oh my God, this looks so beautiful. Let me show you the view. Look at that, London, you are actually stunning. Sorry, we're just driving basically past like the Strand and on the riverside and you can see the city of London and it's just so beautiful. So it's early in the morning, so there's not actually many people out right now, which is perfect, the best time to come to London. Although I do know that the ice rink I'm going to is full, um, so it's gonna be really busy. But I'm skating with some friends today, so we're gonna have loads of fun. We're just trying to find a parking spot, which might be a little more difficult than we hoped, but we've arrived, oh, oh my goodness, pray for us. We've arrived really early in the hopes that we can, resident permit holders only, get a parking spot. Oh my gosh, he's done it. He's done it. He's parked literally next to the side of Somerset House. So yes, I'm ice skating at Somerset House this morning. Matt's always like the Insta husband that just watches. Do you enjoy watching? Well, yeah. you know why Matt's happy, because he knows he's going to have a great lunch and a great shopping day, aren't you? Yeah, it's better than being stuck to the side for, for about half an hour. But I would hold your hand or we could give you one of the penguins. Matt does actually have a ticket, but I think he's going to very kindly give it to someone else. I might be able to persuade him to come on. You think no? No, I get your consent. <laughs> oh, so Matt will stand at the sidelines and be a good Instagram husband. So, yes, heading to Somerset House, which is really exciting. We've not been back for ages, have we? Uh, I don't I think I skated here last time. year. And then I came with my mum and my brother a few years ago. We were just shopping in London and impromptu. We were like, oh my gosh, let's go to Somerset House. And then we got here and it was fully booked. So if you do want to ice skate in London, there's Battersea Power Station, there's Somerset House. They got rid of the Natural History Museum, which is beautiful. I believe that this might be the same company or something that do Battersea Power Station. I don't know. But Somerset House is so dreamy. It's like a Christmas dream. It was meant to rain all morning today and it's not raining so far. So hopefully we're gonna have a nice dry ice skate and then we're gonna do some shopping together to try and find me a birthday present. Matt's taking me birthday shopping, aren't you? I am, see what she wants. That's, Hopefully not too expensive. That's so kind. No, I don't want anything expensive, just you. Just ice skating with me, to be honest, is the best present. Okay, my battery's gonna die. Let's go in. I'm smiling when So much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform. <laughs> and in a while, we're gonna go and 
outside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy. So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day. I got a hot chocolate. It's just started raining, but look how cute this is. It looks really empty now because it's on the rainy session. Um, we were so lucky with the sun, but I got a gorgeous hot chocolate. Look at this tree. Matthew did an ice skate, but he did still get a hot chocolate. You didn't ice skate, did you? But you still got a hot chocolate. You reap all the benefits. Was it fun watching me? Oh, you're such a doting boyfriend. I'm so lucky. Love you. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Yes, please. Perfect. Thank you. Such a nice coffee shop. Yeah, I know. I wanted to bring you for ages. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, this is in the Savoy. I'm so sad it's shut down. This was probably the best restaurant in London. It was absolutely amazing. And I'm so sad. It's been given. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's the best roast dinner ever. We actually went for my stepdad's 50th birthday, so it's really special to me. I'm so sad that it's shut down. These guys do great coffee. And then in here, let's quickly look at this Savoy all dressed up for Christmas. Oh my god, can we pop down? This is amazing. Look how cute this looks. Oh my god, it's so festive. So we stayed here for my stepdad's 50th birthday, and it is just such a special place. Wow. Look how dreamy this is. Literally a work of art. So it might be raining, but I did get to ice cream before the rain hit. Now, if you're not from London, I always forget to give more context on things. Somerset House is kind of right near Covent Garden and you actually have the Savoy right next to it. So it's a great excuse to do some ice skating and then go and have a look at the Christmas lights. I know someone commented recently and said, please give us a tour of Christmas decorations in London. So I'm hoping I can show you some nice things today, even on a rainy day. London is so magical. I hope it will be a bit quieter with it raining today as well. Um, yeah, Matt did an ice cake, but how nice was it, the environment? And I had fun. Yeah, it's really nice. It's, really, it's a good ring, isn't it? It's nice setting as well, Somerset House. Oh, Somerset House is beautiful. And then we actually, we did have a hot chocolate after ice skating, but then we did also go to a place we wanted to go to for ages called Watch House. It's called Watch House, right? Yes. And it's the coolest coffee shop. Matt was like, that's the most aesthetic coffee shop I've ever seen. Was the coffee actually good though? Uh, honestly, <laughs> no. not, not, the, not the best, not even close. And they didn't do matches, so look, it's not about how somewhere looks. It's yeah, about what how something tastes. Their, uh, their espresso is a little bit on the sweeter side, which I'm oh, a big sweeter. fan of. I like an earthier thing. Earthier, yeah, we should have maybe gone to Caravan then. So yeah, the hair's gonna get wet. You're gonna see me looking bedraggled in about 10 minutes, but look, it's fine. We are heading to a new hotel first, just to get a little snack, um, because it's meant to be absolutely gorgeous, and it is the season, I bet it's gonna look amazing for Christmas. So I'm gonna head there, regroup, and then normally we would walk to Harrods, but honestly, I feel like we're gonna have to drive in this weather. I'd like to go to Sloan Street because we have some really nice designer shops there. Maybe try to find a birthday present. Speaking of coffee, they have Blank Street everywhere in London now. I think I first saw it in New York, actually. So these are the Christmas lights on this street, which is the Strand, and they actually look really pretty on an evening. I still think Regent Street wins so this year for me with Christmas lights. We actually stayed in this hotel years ago. Look how nice this tree is.
I've gone for tomato rigatoni with a little plate of cheese. Matt's gone for fish and chips. With, with the skin size, actually. That looks like a really good fish, doesn't it? Amazing, huh? Matt was like, I really fancy fish and chips. Oh, he's gonna give me the little, he knows. Thank you. I actually have to have curry sauce with my fish and chips, but Matt has ketchup. I feel like fish and chips should be with curry sauce, not ketchup. I had like fish and chip curry sauce and the pasta, and then this is the beautiful room with a piano in here. Okay, that was great. That was a new Raffles Hotel. Absolutely gorgeous. The rain is seriously raining now. Hilarious. I have sunglasses on my head, but that is just stunning. You can see the venue here. It's absolutely huge. The staff were amazing. Okay, so now we're going to go do some shopping. Oh my God, they have Yorkshire coaches for contacts. I am from Yorkshire and they have Yorkshire Rose coaches by the river. How cute is that? It's really misty now, but it still looks very romantic. This is literally the hotel that we just went into. Look at the scale of it. It's absolutely stunning. And they have private residences, I believe, through there. It's absolutely huge. And this is actually the back, I believe, of Horse Guards Parade. I have such a cute picture with my grandma and my granddad at the front of this. So if you walk through that, which I don't know if you can, it looks to be closed. You actually come out at Horse Guards Parade, you know, the really beautiful part. It's one of my favorite spots in London, Horse Guards Parade. I'll pop a picture on screen of kind of what the other side of this looks like. It's just gorgeous. Look at the Christmas wreaths. They are truly so beautiful. How gorgeous. One of my favorite things is just looking at people's Christmas trees. How beautiful is that one? I'd like to live at Lion Lodge. What a cool name. I absolutely love this in Chelsea. So this is the Anya Life shop, which is Anya Hemmarsh. And look, they have all of these really sweet wreaths. How utterly gorgeous are these for Christmas? They're all so fun. How amazing, look at this one. And then they have the Anya Cafe, which does the cutest like cakes and stuff. All has like little eyes and stuff on it. Oh my gosh, this is the Anya's Grotto Christmas gift shop. Let's go in after. How gorgeous. One of our favorite hotels in London, Matt was just saying, look, they've put wreaths on everyone's balcony. I think that is so cute. I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but how gorgeous. So this is Sloan Street, and we should probably actually cross over. And it leads to Harrods, and you can't really see because it's daylight. But goodness, it's so beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, they had a little Fendi van, so I got a Fendi hot chocolate, which is so cute. Every time Matt finds something he likes, it costs too much, doesn't it? <laughs> and trying to find him a Christmas present, he's just like, yeah, but it was probably £2,000 for a plain shirt. You got expensive taste. Look at this hotel. It's literally right behind Harrods. It's called the Capitol. How beautiful is that for Christmas? And then you walk down the street and Harrods is literally just here. It's Harrods time. Not our first time in shoe heaven together. Yay! This is quite a nice brand. Gosh, these shoes are gorgeous. Jane's are really having a moment and I absolutely love them. I actually got some recently that I love but they're not from Dior. Love those. This is the kind of vibe that I'm looking for in Chanel. I feel like everyone has them but I still really like them. Shoes. I forget how nice the shoes are in Dior. How lovely. I don't like the red but I love the bow. My oh my. Just like special shoes. My Them. Oh my gosh, I love these ones, but not in this colour. I do like them, like the traditional Chanel colour. I think they'd probably be more special actually than the flats. Look at the Chanel Mary James, how special. These ones have a Chanel bow on them, that is so cute. We've got the mini gold flat. These ones are quite cute. Quite nice with the with the pointed toes. These, but I want the leather toe. Like that. I'd wear the heel one for special occasions, but I could wear these in summer with like cute dresses and stuff. So this is the one without the leather toe, and I like the one with the leather toe. I don't really like these colours, I do like these ones though, the sparkly ones. I'm very tempted to get some platform Uggs. They look really cool on people, but look how tall they are in real life. They're way too big. I was thinking they might be quite nice for our up and coming trip. But then I'm thinking, do you not think they're a bit too tall? No, I know. I would love the Tasmans actually. I always said I wouldn't get them, but I keep seeing people wearing them and now I do want some. Matt, something like that might be cool for you. More like weatherproof. I really want Matt to get some Uggs. Um, Are these ones? What size are you in slippers? Really? Yeah, do you want to, would you like to try some? Just so you know what colour, what size you are. What about these ones? These are like the original ones that you've already got, but would you want them in black maybe? You like them without fluff? Oh, it's because these are the girl ones. These are really nice, though, aren't they? But these ones without the fluff. I think they do a boy version without the fluff. Oh, they have a little sale preview also, can I just say? These are so nice from Love Shark Fancy and Sophia Webster. 
Wow. <gasps> nice for summer, not for winter. Okay, we're now looking at boy stuff with Matt. He's shopping. It's really nice down here, isn't it? I forget how nice, like, this, this area is, because obviously I don't really come down to this area. But yeah, it's really nice. Very bougie. But they all have such big platforms this year. Oh, they're quite cool. Please get the sparkly ones. Look how nice they are. You're very drawn to this brand of Mary, aren't you? Okay, we're now looking at the boys' Uggs. Yeah. Men's Uggs. Either them. Yeah, I like those ones. I do love a chocolate brown. I mean, navy's nice. Probably a chocolate brown over there. I think they've sold out, though, when I looked online. Yeah. I need, I'm not bothered about it. I'm pretty sure. That, oh, did you look at getting something like this? Yeah. And are they comfy inside? Oh, yeah, they are. We could be matching. The judgment for walking into Chanel when my Uggs look like this from outside. Absolutely horrific. This is reality when it starts raining when you're wearing Uggs in London. Sunshine always follows the rain. Just got home to this delivery. I'm kind of sad because I basically ordered it too late, but it was meant to arrive for my birthday for my guests. So if you haven't watched my birthday vlog yet, I think there's three, maybe four of them. And these are meant to go in the goodie bags. So I really quickly wanted to show you because I'm so excited. They've actually sold out of most colours. I did want to get these in nude. In hindsight, I should have got black and gold. Um, I got those ones for the boys, but I should have got them for everyone because I really like them. This is like a burgundy colour, which I do actually kind of love. Um, quite nice for autumn, but basically in Black Friday, they had a great sale and they sold a lot out. So they didn't have much stock, but I did want to get everyone something special. So I think I'm just going to have to give these to all of my friends. I was literally just with Freddie and Josie, so it's a shame that they arrived a little too late. But some of them I'll give to family members for Christmas um, and I'll be seeing all of the girls pre-Christmas so it's totally fine but I'm so sad that they weren't in everyone's bedrooms for them I then got everyone luggage tags to go with it as well so if you do want a last minute Christmas present I'll link them below because look at this they're all properly like um what's the word I thought I was gonna say ironed in sewn in and embroidered and the quality is just so great I'm so impressed so I will link those below how gorgeous and they actually have a hidden message inside them let me show you. That was such a nice present to get home to. Um, this one says, make today magical. How lovely. But yeah, I'm gutted that they didn't arrive for my birthday extravaganza. And just like that, we are home after such a gorgeous afternoon. Honestly, ice skating is one of my favorite things. I know I said that in the car, but I just absolutely loved it. It was so, so, so fun. I will make Matt come on with me next time. And I feel so lucky that we missed the rain. We were having a hot chocolate in the side when it started to rain. In the side? I can't get my words out. And then we did walk through Central when it was raining a bit, which is why the hair is now like this. But then the sunshine came out and I was like, the stars have aligned. So, so, so good. We actually ran out of time to go on sewing street shopping. We did a bit of window shopping and I got my... Fendi hot chocolate, but then we went into Harrods because I'm a Harrods Rewards member. So it's always nice to get those extra points. And I did get a very special little birthday present, which I'm so excited about. But I'm keeping her under the tree and I think I'm going to open her, I don't know, maybe on Christmas or I don't know, maybe on my actual birthday. But I'm going to save that because I want to feel like I have something special to open on my actual birthday birthday but i just want to say if you made it this far thank you so much because i know there are so many videos to watch on youtube right now during vlogmas i'm trying my hardest to upload you know every single day i've done that so far i just missed one day because i was too busy having a good time sorry that's completely my fault the video was ready and i just forgot to hit live 
but yeah i just want to say thank you so much if you're taking the time to watch these videos i know some of them can be long and i just appreciate you sticking with me so if you made it this far comment below and let me know what you would like under your tree this christmas i'd be really interested to hear obviously it's absolutely not about the presents it's about the people that goes out saying but just let me know what you would like under your tree because i just think it's quite a fun nice question and everything mentioned on the vlog that i can do will be linked below as always if you're not part of the family do click subscribe right now and give this a thumbs up because it tells youtube that you like my videos i know it sounds annoying because i constantly say it but it does really help my channel so i do appreciate the love and obviously come say hi on instagram and chillax i would love to have you as part of the family over there as well i've had such a gorgeous day and now i'm gonna actually go and do some exercise i will see you for the next one